Good evening, ladies and gents. This is Blackout Gaming TV with the ETF2 uh, ETF2L Highlander Season Four, Week One. Um, sorry about that there, but uh, this is CW Clan Community versus TA Sigma. Um, your people here today: your cameraman John One One Five Five Games, um, your one of your casters Lego, and me, Howdy ho, folks, <laughs> and me, Tame. So, um, hi, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, yeah, hi. I'm excited to uh, be here with Blackout Gaming uh, and bringing you guys some ETF2L Highlander action here tonight. Uh, we are here on uh, CP Gravel Pit, which works in the ABBA format. Uh, ABBA, excuse me. Uh, that is where one team attacks and the other team defends, and then the other team def uh, the first team defends and the other team attacks, and whoever has the better time. Uh, we'll take the round, and you play two rounds of that to see who will take home the victory. And it looks like the match is just about underway. Watching the rollout here for Red Team as they go over to B as the traditional setup is. Yeah, we see the we see CW. Uh, Sacrificing some players so that the engineer has his metal ready to build. He is building that level three behind B point. Uh, we'll see if we can get a little bit of uh, insight as to uh, what the situation is on A point. It looks like they're going to leave it pretty much undefended. Sometimes you see stickies or things like that uh, peppering the doors or the inside of the point to see if they can pick up one or two kills. But A point is just notoriously difficult to defend. So, looks like they're leaving it undefended as the match is about to begin. Well, yeah, um... <laughs> blank, blank silence there, and I'm trying to fix my headphones. Uh, Alright, so then I will continue talking. We see the spy there trying to yeah. body block Burning <laughs> Sandwich. Uh, d gets taken out and uh, punched off to the side and looks like they're just going to be able to roll up on top of here. Fairly uncontested, but no sir. Uh, looks like J3P is going to go pretty big there. He's going to take out the heavy uh, and is going to start uh, wrecking a little havoc on A point. Him and the scout uh, working together here to uh, you know delay the A cap. They got a few kills off of that, but I wonder how effective it is now. They're going to be caught out by the other scout, and they're going to have to retreat here. You know, back on B point, uh, we're not seeing too much going on. We do see the soldier jumping up top onto the roof. We do see the heavy medic, though, dropping down. Uh, they're trying to get some blood, and they do find the soldier. Er, and they, uh, there they go, the pop the uber the little gun is only level one so it's going to go down very quickly the medic is going to have to retreat on the engineer and they're going to have a fairly easy time here they've got a fairly substantial control of b point as a point is capped uh the heavy and the medic but no the medic's going to be outside of the house and almost gets caught out by the engineer so he's going to pull back uh private meta is only at 65 percent and building so he's got no uber in order to contest this so it's going to be wick and uh Wick and Burning Sandwich here, holding the fort. Uh, it's, uh, looks like Wick is going to be uh, finding a little bit of Scout there, but uh, Scout is retreating. He finally finds his Pyro, so they're going to pull back in the Scout. And the rest of Blue Team starts rolling in here to try to get some capture time on B point. Medic hanging out in the house. It's a little bit of a dangerous move. We see the uh, see the demo man there take out the uh, take out the pyro I believe as he was jumping up into the air with a nice well placed air pipe but Wick going down there with a shocky nice work there by the scout taking him out and uh, giving CWC some much needed breathing room uh, but they do capture B point so uh, Private Meta is going to be holding back with the rest of his clan here on the C tower uh, with A and B capped C is now available for capture. So, uh, anything could happen here. Uh, we do see Wick and the rest of his crew holding back here uh, by the uh, C connector to uh, from B to C. 
Uh, just trying to build Uber here. Private Meta is sitting at 100%, so it's a, they're probably just going to wait here, and they're going to wait to push in. They don't want to push in while they have Uber. Uh, that could definitely deflate the push and cost them a lot of time. The Scout almost getting... Uh, the Scout uh, almost got Private Meta there, but there comes the Spy, RAF, coming in right behind with the Spicicle and getting the uh, surprise stab on Private Meta. That is definitely very good for TA. They're going to need it, definitely, and they ha do have Uber here, so the Heavy Classes are pushing in through the one door, and there's the pop. Uh, Burning Sandwich taking out the demo there and si firing some bullets up the tower. Uh, Flash goes to the demo man, so he can lay down some stickies. It looks like they're going to try to climb the tower here on the scout. They're going to be trying to get up on top here. The soldier bombing in, clearing off the soldier that is sitting on the top. There's going to be 5x on the point, and it's going to be captured with a uh, very speedy 3 minutes 53 seconds. Uh, for TA. And I am not entirely sure if Tame uh, is... Uh... I, I, I still am here, but I'm having big technical difficulties, so um, I'm gonna leave you over the stream for a minute until I get this stuff sorted out. Sorry about that. Alright, I don't want to be uh, shutting you out here of this Highlander action here. TA taking the first round uh, <laughs> with a uh, 3 minute 50 second capture time. Now that is traditionally very fast for Gravel Pit. Uh, you generally see the B hold a little stronger uh, when uh, CW is again on defense. They better make sure that their level 3 is up. Uh, I see that TA is sending their level 3 up fairly back. Uh, generally, you see those uh, level 3s up a little more forward, so they have visibility on long. That's the long tunnel connecting spawn to B point. So, uh, as the uh, countdown commences, we do see the spy hiding out just outside of the A point spawn door. Let's see if we can get anybody here as uh, the demo man soldier and, uh, excuse me, the demo man uh, sniper and scout and heavy run out to try to get some capture time on A. They will be joined by the Pyro here, here as he uh, runs himself onto the point. The 4X on there. It looks like it's going to be fairly uncontested. They might send the Scout there. I thought I saw a little bit of a bullet flash, but no. It looks like uh, TA is being very conservative here. 3 minutes, 19 seconds left on the clock. Uh, and it looks like we entered a pause. So, uh, yeah, everyone's floating in air, and I don't think it's a connection issue. So, it is a pause, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Send your TA taking the first round again by 3 minutes 53 seconds. Uh, the pause went down about 40 seconds into the match. Uh, most likely somebody uh, was having uh, ping issues. Uh, doesn't look like it from our end, but we will be seeing how long we're going to be sitting here. Again, we apologize for the delay. So yeah, we are, uh, no, I'm here, I'm working with, uh, Blackout Gaming here, who is sponsoring ETF2L's, uh, Highlander Season 4, uh, and also providing the Highlander coverage that will be quite exciting for everybody, I am assured, and I hope to be bringing you at least some of it on days when I can do it. Uh, of course, I should also plug X Television is my uh, home casting organization. Uh, we cast mostly North American Highlander, so if you are uh, into North American Highlander, well, UGC is entering their playoff season, so check back on Mondays and Thursdays uh, around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and check the UGC forums for who will be casted. That matchup is sure to be uh, some pretty explosive playoffs, a lot of great teams, a lot of great players. Yeah, so one these technical difficulties sort of gets sorted out. Uh, I suppose we should just talk about what's going on right now. If these technical difficulties get sorted out. Uh, well, it looks like the pause did just end, so uh, we're oh, back indeed. in action. So that was just a short momentary unpause. Mm. So it's still paused, I see? I believe so, again? yes. Yep, everyone's uh, hanging out, just sort of standing. The pyro's floating. Demo man is floating very nicely. There we go. Uh, unpause uh, yet again. Uh, a capture will probably conclude fairly quickly, and yes, it does. 
Uh, so both sides do have full uber advantage. We do have the wrangled level 3 on the back of B point. So um, we're going to wait and see what we get out of either of these teams. Uh, what pushes are we going to see into uh, B? It looks like that there's a contingent of CW that's going through the BC, con uh, BC connectors. So they're trying to wrap around, get a little bit of surprise. They are caught out by the heavy, and they are forced to retreat there. Uh, meanwhile, coming around from the front, we do see the pop by Private Meta, uh, along with his soldier who's going to be trying to jump up, see if he can peek and catch anybody standing out uh, front there. But... Uh, TA is being able to weather it pretty substantially, and there is the pop by Wick. Uh, and that's going to take out Private Meta, the pyro there, uh, with the kill. So, um, I'm going to, again, leave it over to you while I get my technical difficulty sorted out, and I shall be back to you in a second. Yeah, I'm just punching HUD reload scheme because, uh, as you know, pauses do do a number on your HUD. Uh, two minutes left on the clock here. The level three is still up for uh, TA, so they're doing, uh, they're being front, uh, very, uh, very uh, uh, yeah, blah, effective usage of the level three. Uh, not a lot of action out of either side here. They're just sort of camping out, holding up, and waiting for the push. Wick does have the uber advantage here by around 20%, so that's going to dissuade uh, CW from pushing in without having uh, without having uber. We do see that Elm went down there, the heavy for CW. I don't know what he was doing so far ahead of the rest of his team. Uh, going down there is going to be uh, going to be missing out on somebody to pop on. Uh, both sides with full uber here. Where are we going to see the push in from? I'm getting the sense they're going to be trying for uh, a little something on the seaside. We do see the demo man camping out on the B door uh, with some stickies. Hopefully, he's, I think he's trying to catch someone trying to go through uh, from spawn. But there we go. There's the pop in from long. Uh, both medics going down in that exchange. Cardan taking out private meta there. The gun did go down, but with 35 seconds left on the clock, it is all, the round is all but over. Uh, TA there successfully capturing in three minutes, three seconds, and holding out on B for long enough, uh, taking the first half there with a pretty solid, uh, solid work. Alert. The control point is being captured. Ends in 10 yeah, and there's the 10 seconds call uh, by the announcer. That's going to leave uh, just a little bit of time there. They're not even going for the point at this point. Uh, they're sort of dancing around, and that was the half there. Uh, going in favor of TA Sigma, Team Awesome Sigma, taking the first half. Uh, one to nil. Hi there, Lego. This is Russell Hello. Gajovic. I'd just like to join you to fill in the gap due to team's absence with the technical difficulties. So I'm just going to pop in and uh, give us a hand. Cast a here. bit with you. Right, yeah, that me sounds as well. Yeah. Good. So uh, out, out of interest, um, do you feel that uh, EU TF2 scene for Highlander plays Gravel Pit any differently to North American teams like, say, UGC Plat? Do you, see any you do see a lot of the same strategies as you see in North American. Uh, the ban lists are very similar, so you're not seeing any new items or items without on the European side, as has been the case. I mean, before, uh, a lot of times you would see Highlander played with uh, what was closer to the European uh, ban list for items, which is more like the allowed list, uh, to be honest. Uh, so you wouldn't see Wranglers and the like, but... Uh, you know, you did. You still see the level three point. You still see nobody defending A. You, uh, it's a lot of its carryovers from sixes, uh, in terms of strategy. And you know, you're not seeing anything too substantially different on the EU side. Yeah, it looks like the the meta is kind of at an equilibrium between the scenes in a lot of cases. Um, well, I mean, there's the especially gravel pit. The, yeah, especially with a map like Gravel Pit, where, uh, you know, the strategy, you know, this is, you know, a stock map. This is a map that people have been playing since the beginning of competitive. It's one of the few attack-defend format maps that still run in competitive. B 
because of its uh, its balance, quote unquote. Uh, but yeah, the the established meta, I mean, was changed very slightly with the Wrangler, but you're still seeing the same, mostly the same strats that people were running uh, uh, long, long ago, and uh, on both across the pond and over here in the EU. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the thing with Gravel Pit is you really can't wing it. Um, it's one thing to play it on a public server, but to play it competitive, you 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 need to understand the map as a bare minimum, really. Uh, just knowing where, like, even things like not even knowing the calls, for example, of where everyone is can can really make you lose uh, a round or even a match on Gravel Pit. So you really do need to know your stuff when it comes to this. And knowing the, the cookie cutter strategies that are played does go a long way to, to helping you potentially win. Definitely. Um, you do see uh, you know, a couple of shockers stuff going on. I have seen a surprise A uh, defense, which has... Uh, I have seen that on the North American side. Uh, that's a very rare occurrence, though, because of just the pure difficulty of holding A. And new teams, they might not know that you're just supposed to... you know, A is just such an undefendable mess that you just give it up. Uh, so you <laughs> might see, like, uh, Div 6 teams trying to hold up on A with level 3s, but it's just so wide open, it's, uh, just so much space that it's just not able to really be defended. Yeah, I, I have seen strats in the past, um, when I played in previous ETL to all Highlander, um, when we played GP, we actually put our engineer um, on A initially, and what he did was he, he built an exit in the in the house on the A point. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, an entrance, and the, he built the exit at spawn, so basically it was just distract them for a little bit um, before they pushed, uh, obviously pushed into A and eventually capped it and, and then set up a B defense, but it looks like we've actually gone uh, live in the second round here, so anyone want to talk us through it? Yeah, so we're definitely seeing, uh, as we were saying, there's not much of a defense going on on A. We do see the level 3 back in its uh, very rear position. Uh, that's not something I've seen that often. Usually you see the level 3 closer to the ramp, uh, in line with the ramp, excuse me, not on it. Uh, sort of at the end of the metal gurney, uh, but uh, if it works for T Team Awesome, then uh, you know more power to them. We do see the demo man spamming uh, a couple of stuff on long, and we do see uh, the heavy and the medic sort of hanging back here with Uber around the bend of long, and it looks like they're going to push in right now. Uh, they are met with some resistance though, and the scout and the soldier going down very quickly to the demo man's pipes. Uh, we do see the demo man up top, and we do see the pop as well in the counter pop by Wick. Uh, uh, they're not focusing on the gun though, and that's sort of a mistake. You definitely want to focus on the gun. It's more important you get that down, and you might lose your heavy there uh, over kills. So the gun is gonna. Uh, the gun, I think, actually went down to the spy there, and so yeah, it's he, going to. Uh, yeah, the, the spies at two is using his revolver to just uh, pick that off at a distance, and it looks like he's coming in to maybe get a pick on the medic. He's very close here. Oh, we he get spotted by the heavy. Manages to. Oh, unfortunately, he just gets picked unless it's dead ringer. Couldn't quite see there. It looks like the uh, blue engineer has got his level three Wrangle Sentry up on B now, so it's going to be difficult for Red to be able to defend this right now. Not Especially unless you get stabbed like you just did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, saw that. Yeah, you just oh, got rapid, stabbed rapid. and sapped there. That's a problem when you're using the Wrangler, especially in the offensive situation. You start neglecting looking at your backside, and then you easily drop to a spy that creeps up behind. Spies love the Wrangler. Uh, that was a fantastic play there. That was a fantastic play by Rafi Rafi. He went in, took the engineer out, sat the sentry, and he, he jumped on the rock and he only had 1 HP and lived for a very long time until his metal came up for his dead ringer. Managed to pull out and get back to safety, so that was a really good play by him. We just see the engineer trying to reset up on uh, B point. Uh, a point still hasn't been captured. Uh, there we go, we finally are seeing uh, a soldier stand on top of A point. That's potentially dangerous because if the, the match does not, if they do not capture B point, then they're going to have to try to hold A for uh, an extended period of time. Uh, you know, it's always a bit of a gamble with a surprise B push like we tried, to, which, like we saw there. But uh, and when it works, it works very well. But when it doesn't work, uh, you're stuck with a very long first capture time, and uh, it's just time wasted, time the clock that uh, your opponents can rally back with. Yeah, it seems like it's a gamble that hasn't paid off for um, CWC, unfortunately, but uh, 
it looks like they're just going to have to, they've capped out A now, so I'd be curious to see if they're deciding to push from C or not. I can't see anyone on play, uh, any players there, so they may just be going for a short. Looks like the heavy is in the house near short at the moment, but he's on his own, so uh, the pyro's with him there just now. It looks yeah, like the sniper's watching the long like his combos as a soldier does spot the uh, the heavy and the pyro there, so they know that they are hanging out there. They don't know how many though. They haven't seen the medic though. But the devil man is sitting in long though, trying to spam out. Let's see if we can get some eyes on the medic here. Uh, Wick is sitting at full uber, private meta at 69 and not healing anybody. Uh, I think he's looking for someone to heal. He finally finds his heavy. Uh, looks like they are about to wrap around to push through C. So that could be a surprise. The level three is back up behind B. So, uh, they did manage to get that back up. Uh, 2 minutes 46 seconds capture time for the first point. Uh, to put that in context, the usual capture time is around a this minute. This guy on private meta, he doesn't, he just misses two shots, unfortunately, with his scatter gun, doesn't get the pick, unfortunately, but I'm just noticing here that uh, Lon Ornament, he was uh, in short just spamming. I don't know if he was trying to act as a distraction. He's the blue team demo man, but he's really been around this combo, and they pushed in from one here, and they've just ubered. Stubers are being exchanged, uh, they're not going to do much with this. Uh, Elm's going to go down straight away. Yep, so okay. looks like yeah, a, a failed push there. Go down on the gun, but props the engineer there keeping it alive. You do see the blue sniper in long here, trying to see if he can, who he can see. He does manage to take out the soldier with a well placed body shot. Good on him. But the defense on B is going to be pretty rock solid here. A nice hold. Uh, 4 minutes 22 seconds left in the clock. And I've just noticed that. Red team are only five players up. Demo is close, so he almost cratered off the roof there. You know, top, but then I think he just got a scatter gun in the face from a scout who'd uh, done that crafty double jump maneuver up to the roof there. Blue engineer running level threes. Uh, we did see that a little bit before, but I'm surprised he hasn't switched uh, to mini sentries because I believe they yeah. are not banned. So. Uh, it looks like Private Meta and his team are trying to push on the B point, but they're getting uh, a lot of da they're taking a lot of damage from the heavy there. They do manage to take him out, but the Devil Man's starting to lay some stickies in. Private Meta, get out of there! You're at 34 health. Yeah. Uh, one small hit. He's could in get trouble. him, and he gets taken and out gets by the time. soldier. I did notice that Indigo tried to get a level three Sentry out just near short, but he just got sniped almost immediately, and then the uh, Sentry got taken down before it got built up again on its own. And it looks like Payne is just starting to rebuild all the stuff again. So Red are holding this pretty well, actually. But I think it's more down to the fact that Blue seem a bit disorganized with their pushes. Yeah, they're definitely not pushing as a coordinated force. Um, and that's go that really is very painful. We do see T.A. Goose there taking out Lawn Ornament uh, and is locked in a little sniper battle over short. Um, the problem is, is if you, you gotta take out the gun and you also have to wipe out a majority of the team. If you only take out one and not the other, then you're gonna have a very difficult time g gaining control of B because it's just so tight and the capture time is so long that it's very easy to threaten the B point without having to, uh, without having to put yourself in too much danger. We do see Car uh, Kandaram trying to bomb in on the medic. He gets oh, a few gets shotgun a shells off, but is taken out by Plaster. That was an interesting push there. Um, it seemed that they got a pick on the heavy. I think the sniper picked the heavy on on the red team, and then the blue heavy uh, Elm just went all balls balls out and just kind of pushed in on his own and distracted the pyro while everyone else pushed in later on. Yeah, and, and that is going to give them control of B point. Uh, we're looking at Raffy Raffy here, who's decloaking. Uh, uh, he's actually hanging out right by the. Medic, he's waiting for a good opportunity to move in behind these heavy classes. He's decloaking. Here goes for the stab, and no, he gets caught out by the scout. Perfect timing. That heavy was almost dead. That's Prem game sense. That's finest there. I think that's Shocky from Epsilon playing on um, <laughs> playing for CWC. Wow. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Uh, we do see the uh, C defense going up. No gun that I can see. We do see an offensive level three. Uh, Again, I am I, I am constantly confused by those level threes, but hey, if they work for uh, work offensively, then go for it. But TA is mostly down here, mostly do the lawn ornament and Shocky. They're taking a lot of member, but Private Meta gets yep, the Ubersaw off uh, to help capture the top point. Three points in seven minutes, thirty-six seconds. That's a that's usually about average. It's, it's slightly better than average, I'd say. Um, they they may I think the important part here is obviously to get a crucial. 
solid B defense up, but I think, uh, as you said, Lego, they took a long time to cap A, so they have to put some people on there, and that's going to well, take not, away not from their B defense. Anymore. That's how, uh, that's sort of the oddity of Gravel Pit. They, uh, the danger of not capturing A right away is that if you end up not capturing B, then it's a very, very quick round if they capture A right away. Um, since they captured all three points, they have 7 minutes, 36 seconds to capture all three points. There's no real, they could spend 5 minutes capturing A, 1 minute capturing B, and 1 minute capturing C and have it still work. Uh, they could also spend 1 minute capturing A, and 5 minute capturing B, and 1 minute capturing C, and that would also work. One thing I noticed that CWC didn't do, and that I see quite a lot of Highlander teams, is that the Matic stays in spawn while everyone just goes out to try and force the Matic or maybe get some time on A, and it looks like Team Awesome are doing this Matic staying in spawn. Heavy's yeah, it's a smart decision a. because you've had all that setup time to build Uber, and there's really no reason to send your Matic out to A, and sending him out to B just sort of uh, without the protection of a lot of the classes, like you generally see the Pyro uh, go into A to capture A. There's really no reason to send your medic out that quickly, and we do see uh, J3P got a nice headshot on the pyro there, but he's taken out by Hearts, uh, uh, working a little defensive work trying to take out that sniper. So it looks like there's a 2x, 3x on a point. Uh, they're going to have around six and a half minutes to capture uh, the B point and C point. Still 100% uh, Ubers for both medics Ooh. at the moment. I've got to talk about this and interrupt you, John. <laughs> uh, taking out Wick there. Wick, who had full Uber, gets caught out by the spy who was waiting on the A point, uh, on the A point spawn exit. Uh, take him out, pop it, don't drop it, my friend. Uh, that was a nice job by uh, CWC's spy there. Uh, taking him, taking out the medic and uh, giving Private Meta a lot of breathing room. Yeah, absolutely. You can see that that heavy is just spy checking left, right, and center because he knows that their team is at a big Uber advantage here, and you know, Team Awesome are going to try all they can to force that Uber, or at least try and get a couple of kills, easy kills. But it looks like we're that's taken about a minute off of their uh, time to attack, basically. So yeah, they're we'll going to have to wait for do. full Uber to push in because of that level three, because of its. Uh, because of its position, it's just so critical that you have to take that out, and you traditionally do take that out with a level 3, potentially with a sap uh, as well. So uh, that's going to give, that's going to delay the push a fair bit, give uh, CWC some breathing room. They definitely, they do need to take this, uh, they need to hold for another five and a half minutes if they want to stay alive and force a third round. It looks like hearts and uh... The blue soldier are just hanging around uh, the red team spawn. They took out the teleport, which is uh, more cr it's quite crucial as well to take that out. You know, just uh, do a bit of spawn camping, make the red team nervous, and then just build up your Uber, and then hopefully push in and see if you can do something with it. And they do have Uber right now. It uh, looks like they're debating on whether or not they want to rotate through to uh, through the A B connector or through the B C connector. Uh, the scout and the demo are exchanging fire, and the scouts also uh, trade a little bit of damage there. And it looks like they have decided they're going to go through C. Uh, but they are being spammed out by the demo man. Nice work by him denying him that entrance, uh, forcing them back. Uh, there's not much you want to do when you're facing off against a demo man like that. Absolutely not. I'm just noticing that Kadana. Do I need to get his name out? Cardana Dam, the blue soldier, just got picked off. I think he was on the C point looking for an easy pick on the demo. He was he was um, basically spamming out uh, free um, on the C point there, uh, really pushing them back onto A and making them rethink about how they're going to push on to B here. Ooh, and there's another drop. John getting behind Wick again, the second time. This time with a. Uh, uh, Spicicle stab, and that's going to completely deflate uh, Team Awesome's push here. Uh, four minutes left on the round clock. Oh no, and their private medic oh, the going down coming in. to Goose. Spice coming in. Oh, he gets the sap, but yeah, he's been spotted. Unfortunately, he can't get the ambi headshot or anything, so... Well, that doesn't Worthwhile really matter effort. that much because the sniper for Team Awesome, uh, Goose, getting the headshot there uh, off on private meta forcing him to drop. Both of these uh, medics, they remember, pop it, don't drop it. Uh, and they uh, 
both go down here, so that's going to take a lot of wind out of both teams' sails. The level 3 sentry did go down as well as the engineer, so blue team should try to ship shape up here. The danger is they might try pushing in solo, and then they'll constantly be respawning, and that'll not be a good situation for either side. Yeah, ABCD came in and uh, the demo man came on the roof, took out the sentry as well, but then he got picked off by a scatter gun shot, I think. Um, but I'm noticing that the, the red engineer hasn't gotten there just yet to build up his stuff. He must be getting some pressure put on him near the spawn, surely. I haven't seen him. Oh no, and the medic is caught out alone on B point. He finds his demo man finally, but that was a very dangerous situation to be in. His heavy had gotten backstabbed. His pyro had gone down as well, uh, so we had nobody to uh, protect him. Uh, unfortunately, CWC couldn't capitalize, and they ended up uh, having to pull out there, I think, a little reflexively. They did have the opportunity to take it, but they were down on numbers. And so with about 2 minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock, B-Point will be solidly captured. And so the fight for C begins. They have 2 minutes, 12 seconds to capture it. I noticed that John um, went in there to try and get a pick on Wick, and he got him down to 14 health with the revolver, but it just got killed at the last minute, and unfortunately didn't get the medic down. So we'll see how they can fare pushing in here. It looks like they've ubered and pretty we do see early the on. Here, the engineer was not ready for it, and his gun does go down. Uh, the heavy's uh, going down. down as well. We wow. Heavy going down. The scout did manage to get behind, and with cooperation with the pyro, the medic goes down. For T Team Awesome, but will it be enough? Will they be able to get bodies up there? The medic is running up to try to valiantly set the pyro. His force into the house. The medic is blown off into the sky. Uh, and uh, Team Awesome Sigma will take the second half and thereby the match. Very well played to them. It looked like they really got their stuff together, especially when they pushed in to be there. And, and C, that was basically textbook essentially the engineer really wasn't prepared for them pushing in so early i guess i don't know if that the was engineer wasn't taking or... advantage of his wrangler shield uh he kind of got caught out uh what he should have been doing he should have been flashing that wrangler up so he could bring the shield up so we could deflect most of the damage uh he might not have gotten any shots off but when you're dealing with an uber like that you just want all the time you can get and uh even while he was whacking it he still had no time to uh really protect it yeah I think that's always the risk when you put your your sentry quite close to one and two. You know, it's easy to just come in and just uh, spam really quickly. And if you get caught with your pants down, then that's basically your life gone and easy to retreat to, you know, push the C point. So, well, very well played team. Awesome signal on that map. It looks like they have a lot they of do potential. Solidly take it. Absolutely, yeah. So good luck to them uh, for the rest of the season. Hopefully they can... Uh, bring this kind of uh, dominance to their week two and beyond match so definitely so uh from all of us here at uh blackout gaming uh, i'd like to thank you guys for tuning in uh i'm lego uh working over from xtv yeah big big shout and thanks to lego for volunteering to play tonight uh sorry to stream or cast or <laughs> One of those, pick what you pick what you will. I don't know. Uh, those words, words mean things. So I, I, we're we're still looking for casters and streamers. So if you're if you're interested and feel that you could do a better job than me, then feel free to put your name down um, on the blackout forums. It's just forums.blackoutgaming.org. There's a sub forum set up. So if if you're interested in streaming or casting, or you maybe want to help out even in chat, for example, then. Or if you're even a team leader and you want us to stream your game, then uh, please feel free to get in touch with myself or, or make a thread. So, so uh, Lego, do you have any shout-outs, Paul? Not really. Uh, just uh, keep tuning in. Keep paying attention to Highlander. It's some good stuff. Uh, I just want to say, I guess what I say shout-out to uh, Blackout Gaming, especially Mikey, for all the work he does and gets very little... Thanks for it. We appreciate you, dude. And uh, shout out to X Television, TFTV, Vanilla TV, TF2L, UGC, all the people who make competitive TF2 a reality, and a lot of hardworking people behind the scenes. I know shout out's not much, but it's the least I could do. All right. So thanks, all.
So we'll uh, see you next time. Yeah, we have a stream, we have a cast on Saturday, but we we are hoping to stream some UGC Platinum games next week at some point. So uh, please join our Steam group. Um, we'll be posting events on there. I'm also be posting um, events whenever they are actually scheduled on ETF2L and UGC. So pay attention to the threads I've put up, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next cast.